Fifth-year Saskatchewan guard Lawrence Moore returned from injury and immediately made an impact for the Huskies this past weekend. The arts and science major put up 42 points, 14 rebounds, and 5 steals while logging major minutes in the Husky sweep of the Mount Royal Cougars in Calgary. The Chicago product scored 22 points, 15 of them in the fourth quarter on Friday night as the Huskies erased a six-point deficit for an 82-71 win. On Saturday night, Moore scored 20 points and added 12 rebounds as he netted the game-winning points with just .3 seconds on the clock in an 84-83 victory. The Canada West TV Game of the Week heads to Kelowna Friday night as the UBC Okanagan Heat hosts the Victoria Vikes in a game with major playoff implications. UBCO heads into the weekend holding down the final playoff spot in the conference, while Victoria is hot on their heels just two points back. This weekend is UBCO's final series of the regular season as the Heat have a bye next week. Victoria has two games in hand on the Heat, meaning UBCO needs to win at least one game to keep their playoff hopes alive. You can watch UBCO and Victoria this Friday for free, beginning at 8 p.m. Pacific, only on Canada West TV. With the regular season winding down, fourth-year guard Katie Keith was instrumental in the Lethbridge Pronghorns' home sweep of the Victoria Vikes this past weekend. In the two games, Keith combined for 33 points, 24 rebounds, and 10 assists. Friday night in the Pronghorns' 86-82 come-from-behind victory, the Lethbridge Alberta product netted 11 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists. In the weekend finale, Keith had a monster performance, recording her seventh double-double of the season. She poured in a game-high 22 points to go along with a season-high 16 rebounds in the 97-85 victory. The Pronghorns wrap up their regular season home schedule this weekend when they face the Trinity Western Spartans. Three Canada West teams remain inside the U Sports Women's Basketball Top 10 this week as the month of January winds down and the playoffs draw near. The Saskatchewan Huskies, Calgary Dinos, and Regina Cougars all held steady in the poll, with the Huskies sitting 5th, the Dinos 7th, and Regina 9th. Saskatchewan has a tough home matchup this week against Alberta, while Calgary's on the road versus Fraser Valley, and Regina is in Winnipeg to take on the Westmen. In one of his best weekends with the Alberta Golden Bears, third-year forward Cole Sanford led his team to a series sweep thanks to a six-point weekend. The Canada West first star of the week recorded two goals and four assists as the Bears swept the Mount Royal Cougars with back-to-back 5 nothing victories. Sanford showed off his playmaking ability in Edmonton on Friday night, assisting on four of the Bears' five goals in their convincing win. The former Medicine Hat Tiger added two goals on Saturday night in Calgary, leading the Bears to another 5 nothing victory. Sanford and the Bears will look to extend their win streak this weekend as they travel to Regina to take on the Cougars. There's plenty on the line this weekend for the conference's men's hockey teams as the Saskatchewan Huskies and Alberta Golden Bears jockey for first, while the Chase group is looking to divvy up home ice advantage for the quarterfinals. Just one point separates the Huskies and Bears atop the standings as Alberta gets last place Regina this weekend and Saskatchewan is at home to UBC. Speaking of UBC, the Thunderbirds sit just two points back of the Mount Royal Cougars for fourth in the conference. That spot is significant as fourth place will mean home ice advantage in the conference quarters. For MRU, they're getting set for a pair of games against Calgary. Mount Royal needs to win both games to even the season series and create a tie with the Dinos in the standings. The Crosstown rivals play this Friday and Tuesday nights. Next week's game is the annual Crow Child Classic at the Saddledome. More than 9,000 tickets have already been sold for the big game. During a women's hockey season that has been largely short on offense, three players are doing their best to provide some firepower in the conference scoring race. Alberta's Alex Poznikoff and Autumn McDougall lead the way with 25 and 23 points respectively, while Manitoba's Lauren Keane is also within striking distance at 22 points. McDougall is the reigning conference scoring champ after her 30-point campaign last season. Poznikoff finished second during the 17-18 season with 23 points. For Keane... This year has marked a return to her previous offensive form as the 2016-17 scoring champion has boosted her numbers after a 14-point season a year ago. With three experienced scorers jockeying for position, the final three weeks of the regular season should provide plenty of intrigue in the conference scoring race. Saskatchewan netminder Jessica Vance earned the conference's first star this week after a perfect weekend on the ice. 
The kinesiology major stopped all 42 shots she faced in 127 minutes of action as the third-year goalie recorded her fifth and sixth shutouts of the season in wins over Lethbridge. The Prince Albert Saskatchewan product made 23 stops on Friday night as the Huskies recorded an exciting 1-0 double overtime win. Vance then added 19 saves on Saturday, helping the Huskies hold on for a 3-0 victory. In 16 games this season, Vance is first in the conference in shutouts with 6 and second in both wins with 10 and save percentage at 9-6-8. The fourth place Huskies are on the road this weekend against the UBC Thunderbirds, who sit just one point ahead of the Huskies for third in the conference standings. Among the best players in the conference this season has been Mount Royal outside hitter Tyler Schmidt, who has played a key role in the Cougars' outstanding men's volleyball campaign. The fifth-year Calgary Alberta product leads the conference in kills with 251 this season and sits fifth in Canada West in hitting percentage at just over 30%. A second-team Canada West All-Star a year ago, Schmidt has helped spark MRU to a six-win improvement over last season already as the team sits 13-3. With three weeks to play in the regular season, it's almost certain the Cougars will finish with their best Canada West season on record, as 14 wins would be a new program best. Fecta of Canada West talent to top the U Sports men's volleyball poll again this week, as the Brandon Bobcats, Trinity Western Spartans, and Mount Royal Cougars are the best teams in the nation. Two other conference teams are also ranked, with the Alberta Golden Bears sitting 6th and the Calgary Dinos in 8th. Of the five Canada West teams ranked, only the Bobcats have locked down a playoff spot with three weeks remaining in the regular season. Mount Royal, Trinity Western, and Alberta could all clinch a playoff spot this weekend. After being handed their first loss at home in nearly two years, the Calgary Dinos got a massive performance from Canada West third star Hannah Tanasichuk this past weekend. The third-year outside hitter pounded 27 kills to miss the school's single-game record by just one, helping Calgary earn a split against the Alberta Pandas and maintain their position in the Canada West standings. The weekend began with 14 kills and 7 digs by Tanasa Chuck, but it was not enough to stop the Dinos from falling in an epic five-set match to Alberta on Friday. The Dinos found themselves trailing early on Saturday, but Tanasa Chuck had herself a career night and led her team to a 3-1 win with her 27-kill performance. The defending conference champions are off until the first weekend of February when they'll play a two-game set versus the McEwen Griffins in Edmonton. The Trinity Western Spartans, Calgary Dinos, and Alberta Pandas are the Canada West women's volleyball teams inside the U Sports Top 10 this week as the road to the Canada West playoffs comes within sight. Calgary is tied for second in the poll with the Dalhousie Tigers after the Dinos split their weekend series with the number 6 Pandas in the Stampede City. Meanwhile, Trinity Western kept rolling, sweeping aside the Thompson Rivers Wolfpack. With the wins, the number one ranked Spartans improved to 16-0 on the season. With three weeks remaining, Trinity Western could become the first team since the 2009-10 UBC Thunderbirds to finish the Canada West season undefeated. Should the Spartans run the table, they had become the first team in conference regular season history to go 22-0, as the T-Birds were 20-0 nearly a decade ago.